All right, so I'm going to show you all this real quick. Uh, in between my uh, the spark plugs where the bolts bolt in for the uh, for the valve cover, my center one stripped out. It's for this bolt here, the uh, 10 millimeter without uh, the threads coming out the top. So I took and drilled it out with my drill and then took drill bit uh, took a tap tapped it and now I'm going to take and use one of these new boats but with a time cert I had one that was damaged I use I'm using it for a spacer and this one here I'm going to take it put thread lock on it and run it down in there well the boat's gonna go all the way through it, but this much of it, that's what, five eighths of an inch long, that's how much threads I'm gonna have for this boat, so I'll be able to torque it down to the eight and a half newton meters uh, required. So, let's try this and see what happens. But, I'm gonna use the boat and bolt it in and then unbolt it out, leaving behind this threaded part of the time cert so we shouldn't have any issues with the boat so let's see now if you look you can see I only put thread lock on just a little bit of the threads on this not on the boat or anything so now I'm just gonna stick it up here and let's thread it in it ain't gonna need much now as you can see I'm able to screw it in by hand and you see the thread lock seeping out of the threads and I'm just steadily tightening it up I will throw a ratchet on it here in a minute and go ahead and run it down to that time so it stops and then pull the boat out and leaving behind the time cert not having to purchase the time cert install kit which saves time and money okay so now I've got it in place I left just a little bit of it sticking up I intentionally didn't chamfer it for a reason so that way whoever the next person is that works on this will realize hey you know some of these bolts have been stripped out it's not going to affect it the gasket's going to be there the valve cover is going to be there so it's still going to going to make a seal and it's still going to be able to torque but at least with me doing it this way that allows me to inform the next guy hey you know don't mess around and strip this because you're going to have problems if you do so um, I specifically chose time search for this for that reason because they're a lot more reliable and I don't want to deal with uh, helicals. Last time I used helicals, the helicals pulled out. Uh, when I went to torque it down, they pulled out, so now I've been having to use time search for everything. And lo and behold, it's every single one of the valve cover bolts. So, that being said, you know. Just be careful, you know, and that's why I'm showing you this so that people don't make the same mistakes. But, you know, that being said, I'm also standing in front of a Honda and I've got my Dodge out there in the driveway and another BMW and, you know, just Buku's other cars. And, but the, the BMW are using the small fine thread bolts and the aluminum heads, it, it does in turn create a problem whenever you're trying to torque things down, especially to newton meters. Uh, the torque wrench I got don't show newton meters on it, and uh, it makes it difficult. So that being said, I hope this is something that will help you help all of you out. And uh, I guess in the future, you know, if you need any help or anything, just ask me some questions. Uh, I try to get back to people as quickly as possible, but, you know, 
I do have to work also because I don't get paid from YouTube. You know, a lot of people do. I don't. You know, I'm not that famous or whatever. So, with that being said, if you need anything, just uh, feel free to hit me up, comment on it, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, later guys.